everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Warrior with Knights of the Fallen Empire. Episode, um, bear me, I forgot what episode it is. 43! I was worried it was going to be 33, but it was actually 43. That's why I had to check. That's why I had to check. In two days' time, because today is Sunday, and I'm hoping to get this up for Sunday as well. In two days' time... Early access for Knights of the Eternal Throne will be here. Are you ready for it? I sort of am. I say sort of am because this is what this episode is for. I need to actually do Stalking the Score. I need to actually finish the Kaizen Fess mission. Which is going to be fun because uh, I hit my microphone as well. You might have heard a tap. Which is going to be fun because it requires me to hunt down all these things. Which I need to go and check what they are again. And I've also got to do Bonds of Duty, uh, which involves Rusk, I believe. So we've got to do that. We've got to do that. And I believe that is all. Now, I haven't come up with Kranatoka's new armor for next expansion. Because I was kind of hoping that um, this pack, which I'll show you, this pack here... Would have been out by now. Nope. Sadly not. And I could have got this armor, which is here. Let me see if I can just open it. Uh, no, I can't get it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in this case, it hasn't worked at the moment. But I was hoping to get that armor, but I guess not. So I'm going to have to find something else to be Crown of armor. And I haven't done that yet because I'm a lazy crap. But in the meantime, shall we do the two missions? We're going to start off with Bonds of Duty and then we'll leave Stalking the Score till till later. I'll leave it to the last second like I have just now. Yeah, but let's do Bonds of Duty. I've got some uh, candy corn right now. You know, you thought candy corn was just uh, an American thing? Well, you're right because these are shipped over to the UK from America. We had like this sweet shop in the next town over that uh, gives me like uh, American foods. It's... It's amazing. But candy corn, no. I don't know. Candy corn, it reminds me of something we have in the UK, but I just don't know what. Just can't put my finger on it and why, what it tastes like. Hmm. Anyway, what are we looking for? Uh, Rush, hi. Where the heck are we? We are. Sound like Nashada. We are Nashada. Cool. Hello, Rush. Private Murgle. Repeat subsection 8 of Article 446 of the Emergency Powers Act. <laughs> like I read any of that. You'll have plenty of time to in solitary confinement. You'll stay there until you can recite every regulation by heart. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Your next violation earns you a firing squad, understand? Okay, okay. I'll get you. Report to Provost Decker for processing. Get out of here. This is Republic Sovereign Territory per the McKeb Treaty. Diplomatic envoys require proper authorization. Vacate immediately. A treaty will not save you from a Sith's anger. I've seen action on every planet in your empire. It's gonna take more than threats to move me. I'm only here because Ergo said you might be sympathetic to our cause, ending the Eternal Empire. I heard he retired. You're telling me he's out with you and fighting Zakul? That's a better use for a leader of his caliber. But it doesn't change the facts. Chancellor Maiden has deployed the Dead Man's Legion to suppress a gang war for our Hut allies. I can't entertain any appeals to take my army elsewhere until we've mopped up here. Sounds like politics to me. The Huts are claiming it's our responsibility, since the problem originated from Republic space. Our objective is to root out fugitives of the Black Sun Syndicate that fled Coruscant and establish themselves here. I need intelligence about their workings. To what end? Find their ringleader and crush the whole problem at its core. Getting our hands on information from Black Sun members themselves would be the most useful. But working Underworld Connections could be a force multiplier. If all else fails, we may have to rely on securing illicit goods to grease some palms. No promises, but if I discover something, I'll speak to you again. This will continue to act as my base of operations until our campaign is complete. Bring anything you find here. Here, right? All right. Um. Where are we in Nashadar? Um, because I saw some other guy come through. This isn't exactly a phased area. Um, this looks like a completely new area. I've never been here before. 
Well, we need to go that way anyway, so there's a plus. Sorry, I'm still eating candy corn. <laughs> I'm saying that because what if on my Jedi Knight, I come across this area with Rusk out, and I go through there, and I'm like, oh, Rusk is there. So I'm just wondering if this is only an area for um, those who have completed Knights of the Eternal Thro Knights of the Fallen Empire. I'm getting them mixed up now. Um, where are we going? I'm trying to avoid all these enemies, but I'm failing miserably. Um, I need to go over there, apparently. Now, here's a big question. Exactly how much will I get for... Uh, I should have checked that way. Damn it. Should have totally checked. What do I get per um, per item? Sometimes I impress myself. Back to Google. Oh, right. Okay. So, looted intelligence uh, gives me... Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, there's intelligence you can loot off the Black Sun mobs. 250. However, the crates can have 500. So if you only need 10 illicit goods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, okay. So, let's get this. Because apparently, if I'm ranked 5 with Hilo Viz, which I am, I can get 5,000 immediately just by talking to Russ. So, let me just get as much as I can here, and then I'll go back to Russ. As far as I'm concerned, that should be enough. We'll find out in a minute. Where's Rusk? Rusk is there. Travel to contact. And if it's not enough, then I can just go outside and kill some more. And yes, I'm still eating candy corn. I have forces dispatched. Yeah, um... I'm going to some useful information. No, um... Yes, actually. Yes, Your thank you. Your contacts are good. Cool, right? Uh, get contraband. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can work. Yep. Oh God, it's gonna be fun, isn't it? These are helpful. Oh damn it! Are you kidding me? Stay the course. Ah, you have lost. I've lost. How have I lost? Influence. Oh, it's because I escaped. Work. I escaped out of it. Oh God, I'm so close right now. How close? Oh my God! I just need to get one more crate. One more bloody crate! Eh, let's just kill you guys. Why the hell not? There's no crates around here. Not that I can see. Well, Can't stay no. This not the right control. crates, anyway. Oh, these don't count, because they're the Crimson Brotherhood. Oh. Well, screw you all. Hi, guys. Oh, you're Nova Guard. Oh, my God. So we have Nova Guard at the top. We have Black Sun at the bottom, and we have... I forgot what they're called. Through there. Fine, let me jump down again. Oh, will I die? Uh, no. Ah, lovely. There's an unattended crate. Which is probably from enemies which I killed in this area. Well, that should be all I need because I get, I get 500, don't I? Is that 500? Yes, that should be all I need. La la la, give me my rank champ, please. What? Yeah, contraband. Here you go, thanks. Ugh, much as I dislike it, these incentives have earned us some cooperation. You find any more? Bring it my way. Well, have you found your target yet? Thanks to you, I have units across Narshada waiting to move on Black Sun's holdings. The icing on the cake? We've learned where their kingpin runs the entire operation. What do you plan to do with that information? In this campaign, in one fell swoop, I'm pulling together my strongest squads for a raid on the Black Sun headquarters. There's a spot for you, if you're interested. Thank you, Rusk. You've more than earned it. Thank you, Rusk. I'd like to see this through. I thought you might feel that way. Really? Even among criminals, Black Sun has a reputation for extreme brutality. We don't know their numbers, but we can count on them being well fortified and bloodthirsty. I'm sure you are and your troops are up to this. I've house. trained this lot into a respectable fighting force, and I'm sure a few have old scores to settle. We should be prepared to deploy any minute now. You ready? Let's finish this. Rally up, dead men. Operation Sunset is underway. Okay. Rendezvous with Provost Marshal Rusk and his squad. Where's that? Where are we going? Um, industrial sector. Where's industrial sector? Industrial sector is... Oh. I need... Oh, I need to go this way. Oh, I see. Oh. It's a bit crammed in here, isn't it? Uh, confront the Black Sun ringleader. Who is? I don't know. Somewhere in here. Question. If I stealth past you personally, 
Will you attack them? Oh, I was going to say. That would be a bit emergent breaking if I'm able to stealth past. And yet, these guys aren't in stealth, and yet they still aren't seen. That would have been weird. Hello, Sc Scatch. Right. Well, what do we got here? Ain't them spineless huts come knocking? That's for sure. Get a load of the Sith rolling with a bunch of Republic flunkies. Bow down, and I may spare your wretched lives. Sure. Save it for your regular bootlegs. Black Sun don't beg. Oh, you Sith think you're tough till you got a knife in your gut. Then you're all surprised and belly aching about how you was met for some bigger nonsense. When I go, you won't see me blubbering. Black Sun ain't gonna be hitched to your little chain gang. What? I could betray Rusk? Wow, okay. Um, I'm not gonna betray Rusk. I don't know, because he deserves to die. This catch deserves to die for how much he, he has ruined the lives of many players. How about we make a deal? You're busting on my turf. Put some of my boys in the dirt and say you want a deal? One way to get my attention. What are you doing? We have the target surrounded, and my troops are waiting for the all clear to take his operation apart. I'm exploring my options. If I don't like what I hear, the conversation's over. I ain't interested in your ball and chain act. Got something worth saying, spit it out. Uh Join my alliance. You and your gang could probably cause some real damage. Causing plenty of damage here. And I ain't gotta listen to nobody trying to give me orders. Uh It's my deal or the dead man's legion takes you down. Give me your best shot. Okay then. Alright. Scat is dying! Bye, Scat! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta understand, I know I'm collecting companions, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna collect every single one, as long as I've seen them, and they, cause companions are gonna die, companions are gonna die, you know, regardless, um, I don't know, who, who's, who's, who's died, uh, Darth Mars died, Senya is unavailable, Scorpio is unavailable, I've been told people are gonna die in the next expansion. So I uh, yeah, I don't think about it matters anymore. Think that glow stick hurts? Try crushing a swoop ganger's neck while his buddies are digging in your guts with an oil can shank. Only need one lung to kill you. Just gotta catch my breath. This one's not going anywhere. I'm gonna give the go-ahead to the cleanup teams. Um. Yeah, that's good. Uh, finish clearing up this trash first. This business ain't done till somebody's bleeding out in the gutter. I'm dumping you with the rest of the garbage. The choice will kill Scatch and make him permanently unavailable. Are you sure you want to proceed? Am I? I know. I I know. I would get him, I could pro possibly get him as a companion, I know, I know, I know. Some of you are probably screaming being, DON'T PRESS CONTINUE! DON'T PRESS CONTINUE! Well, I do. I know a lot of people, I mean, because it's an achievement to get, to kill him, isn't it? It's an achievement to get him as a companion. It's like, I could just get him another time. Um, I don't know. What do I do? I don't. I want to kill him. I want to kill him, but I need all the help I can get in the alliance. Oh, it's so tempting. I want to kill him so bad. 
But I like having companions! I mean, I don't even know if he's gonna be a companion if I press shut up. What if I just back out? Yeah, if I just back out. Think that, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. You hear that, Skadge? Last chance to kill a deal before your whole crew has to start taking orders from Rusk here. Actually, no, you're beating Skadge. Just surrender. <laughs> I ain't beat while I'm still breathing. Shut up! The choice will make Skadge permanently. Oh, so they're both gonna be unavailable. Okay. So let's try another option then. Think that one. This yeah, you hear that, Skadge? Last chance to cut a deal before. That's your angle. Work me over till you get what you want. I ain't that soft. I can promise you, the dead men won't have trouble mopping up the rest of the scum. There's no need to get them to cooperate. Uh. No offense, but he's more useful to me with his gang intact. Think you're taking us over? Over my dead body. Right, okay. Um. You don't have to go with him, but you can't stay here. Join my allowance and you'll still be the boss of your own king. You're just making a worse movie. Tell them to and I promise leniency. Listen up, you're working for me now. Ah, uh, That one. Ah, uh, fine. Got some guts to strong arm me. I like what I see, maybe I don't spill them. I'm not letting him out of here until he gives the order for his goons to pack in. Listen up, cutters! We're done kicking the tar out of these wussy huts. Got me a better idea where to grab us some turf. Load up and grab us some ships. We're rolling soon as I wrap up some business. There. Happy blue boy. Blue boy. Let me be crystal clear. If you try anything, the massacre is going to be on your hands. Dunno. Massacre sounds like my kind of party. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if diplomacy is really worth the trouble. Doubt it. The longer you keep yapping, the more I feel like stabbing somebody. Now get out of my place. Gotta do some packing. We were just leaving. I need to issue my report to command. We should return to headquarters. I wanted to so badly. I really wanted to, but uh, I knew I needed. I need people. I need people. I mean, do I? <laughs> do I need people? And a lot of you are angry at me so much now. Like, why didn't you kill him? He deserved to die. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. He deserved to die. But hopefully I can kill him in the next expansion. <laughs> probably not. It's probably too late. But hey! And, uh, <sighs> don't judge me, people. I wanted to kill him too. Trust me. I did want to kill him. I just needed people. I needed people. Hello, we're done now. I sometimes forget that you Sith can get what you want without violence. My predictions for that engagement ending in a peaceful resolution were negligible. I can't help but feel like it's delaying the inevitable. It's possible we could be a good influence on some of them. It's an opportunity to do something with their lives. That's the purpose of the Legion. Except it's controlled, structured. Leaving that scum to their own devices puts a lot of people at risk. It's moot now anyway. You made your call. I'll be in touch after things are shored up here. The Legion will need a new objective, and I'm willing to hear what you're after. It'll involve the Eternal Empire. That much you can count on. Won't be a dull briefing then. Rally up soon. Okay, speak to Admiral Ego on Odessa, who is... Admiral Ego, Admiral Ego... Where is he? Oh, he's there. Lovely. And Skadge is in my uh, Alliance recruit list. I just can't get him yet until I've completed Bonds of Duty. So, I have two more <laughs> two more people, I think, to my Alliance. So, my Alliance is getting bigger and bigger. I want to make my Alliance as big as possible. I don't necessarily want to kill people. I mean, who is it that I killed in... Did I kill him? I don't know. There was somebody I killed in, like, Chapter 6. Of Kotfi or something like that. Who was it? It was definitely a companion. Oh, it was, um... Oh, what's his face? Um, oh. That ugly face guy. What's his name? I forgot his name. Um, if I can get my bloody right one up, I can show you. Tano Vic. Did I kill Tano? Pretty sure I did. I don't know. Oh, well. Ah, uh, Commander. I was just reading up on your newest recruit, Rusk. 
Excellent job in bringing him in. A brilliant soldier, according to his records. First a volunteer for impossible missions, and somehow always gets the job done. He's certainly no stranger to being in the thick of it on the front line, or even behind it a lot of the time. His units have had high casualty rates. He's used to, to risks and does what it does, yeah. At any rate, I should get back to it, Commander. Just wanted to say good job on this one. Thanks. Speak to Hi- Oh, I need to speak to Hilo now? My god, I'm going from left, right, and center, aren't I? Hilo, can you just give me my companions, please? Can I just have them? Thank you. Wow, Commander. Skadge. Got to admit I'm a little on the fence about this last one. I've worked with his type before, and it can go real wrong, real fast. Between this guy and Brunemark, I am getting a lot more killers than I need. Take it from a smuggler with experience. Sometimes it's better just to shoot them before they have a chance to give you grief. Leave it to the best to figure out how to make it work. I mean, sure, he's got the black sun wrapped around his finger. Which is great! We've got access to their muscle, territory, and contacts. Which'll let us run some jobs through them where they're strongest, covering our own tracks better. And maybe I could have him watch over our riskier runs. Nobody in their right mind would mess with him. Even if they tried, he'd just rip them apart. Know what? I take it all back. Maybe he'll wind up being more use than he is trouble. I just need to be real careful he doesn't get too bored. Bonds of duty! Cool. So I got Sergeant Russ, and of course, no doubt there's, a, there's the achievement to um, kill. Skadge. Where's the bounty hunter? Bounty hunter. There. Skadge. Uh, yeah, he has a secret achievement, so clearly there is one to kill. Skadge. Completed the Bonds of Duty Alliance, but yeah, so I completed that. I've recruited Skadge, and of course there's another one to kill Skadge. So, fun times. Fun times. And I'll take that. And uh, my companions disappeared for some reason. Uh, where's Rusk? Rusk, 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 Rusk. He's, he's under Sergeant Rusk. Hey, where is he? Hmm. Well, there's Skadge. But where the heck is Rusk? Oh, he's Provost. Oh, he's Pro there he is. He's Provost. Provost. Anyway, let us go to Hoth. And let's go get Kaizen Fest. My brother's companion! Strander's companion! Uh, of course, he won't tell me that because... Of course he won't, because why would there? You know, there's a legacy, but there's not a legacy. Now, for some strange reason, it's acting like I haven't spoken to Kaizen before. And you remember long, 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 long time ago, I did speak to Kaizen. So, you know, I'm just going to skip past everything and figure out what I need to get again. Right then, this is going to be the most fun mission I've ever done. Because what I've got to do, ladies and gentlemen, is kill enough creatures worthy of Jagannath get like the trophies from them and then give them to Kaizen. I need 20 of them, right? And the creatures are quite difficult to find. So, um, I could do the world bosses. I mean, the world bosses give me, I don't know. They give me 3,500. But I would need to get a group to do that because I can't do it alone because of the whole level sink so fun times fun times just gotta hope that nobody is uh doing this mission and that it's just me and that it's just me but hey what can I do if I can't find them eh oh there's a chess watcher I mean that's interesting I suppose but it's not what I need. Aha! Oh. That's just a legendary Wampa. <sighs> really? And I don't even have my companion out because... The game wants to be stupid like that. I thought I might as well kill the Wampa just in case if I'm very lucky. Maybe, maybe it will drop what I need. Maybe. It probably won't, but maybe. I also realised I didn't even have my buffs up as Look well. Helping. Oh, you know. Right, let's try and kill this Wampa without dying, but that probably won't happen. Oh, I've got Dirty Kick now! Of course, because I finished the Smuggler, I now have Dirty Kick. Ah, that's exciting. Here's a thought, though. 
Maybe I could do a world boss on my own. If I just have Corso with me. Corso? Nico. I'm getting Corso and Nico mixed up. Just on healing mode, then maybe I could. Maybe. It'd take a long time to kill them. But maybe. Well, no. It didn't give me what I want. But hey, I got an implant. Okay, so I was about to go and do the Hoth World boss. But then I learned that it has 930 odd thousand HP. Don't think I'll go do that. I will, however, go to Droman Cast because I might be able to do the Droman Cast one. I might be able to. The only problem is it is going to scale me down. So, how long will it take me to kill the Droman Cast boss on my own? Dunno! Let's go find out. Thing is, my next biggest dilemma is that has somebody already gone and killed the boss? If so, yes, I can go to another phase. But, chances are, somebody's already come along and killed the bastard. Well, I don't see the world boss anywhere in this phase. So let's go to the next phase and find out if he's there. Which he won't be. Because I'm not that lucky. Oh! And he's there. How fortunate am I? Okay, now can I kill him on my own? Let's find out, shall we? Probably not. Well, I can at like a hit point every 10 seconds. Every 5 seconds. All right, fair enough. So, yeah, let's let's do it. Although, here's a worry. Why isn't why isn't Nico healing me? Nico, what's going on? Nico? Nico? Nico, what's the matter? What the heck happened to Nico? He literally went into a panic state. Going well! It's going well! Okay, he's terrified. Unable to act. Why? Is he not allowed to... Can he... Can I... Can, can he... Why? Are you seriously telling me? Like, seriously? That I can't face the world boss alone. Because my companion becomes too terrified. I'm screwed. I'm never going to get this mission done. Ladies and gentlemen, I found my first Jagannath target. One of 20. You can find me around later. Yeah, we're going to need a round. Where the heck are you? Oh, you're there. Yeah, we're going to need a round. Thank you. Right. One of 20. Should we go see if we find another one? Well, there's just a savage Wampa. Not what we need, though. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I was actually walking into a Republic base. That could have been bad. Aha! There's another target. Thank you. Give me a trophy. Thank you. Now, is there going to be another one around here? Is it just going to be the one? I'd really appreciate if there was another. But I doubt there is. So... If I were to go to another instance, will there be another one around here? I'd appreciate it if there was. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I can walk all the way back to that another one. Well, that other one. Yeah, the other one that, was, that I just killed. And then I can go somewhere else and then do the same. Ah, don't you love it when things go according to plan? A trophy. You're not what I want. You're a savage wamper. Come here, trophy. Where are you? There you are. Come to Papa. Anyway, so if you excuse me, I will be back in five seconds for you guys when I have 20 trophies. Whew. Here. Here's your blasted trophies. Why did you do this to me? It wasn't fair. <laughs> What other stories have hunters to tell? Now that's it. I'm done. 
Trust and your heart, and you will no longer be able to turn trophies. Thank God! Scorekeeper favors you. No coincidence, she crossed our paths. War stalkers will join your hunt. Your prey is our prey. Cool. Bring your troops to Odessa. We quit this place soon. I will find you. Great. Let's go to Ego. Oh, now I re Oh, I get it now. That, so it doesn't matter if they're faced. It, because, of course, Kaizen's gone. He's still in the conversation, but Kaizen's gone, right? So what that actually means is that they just I just won't be able to click on them. They are technically there. They're just not there at the same time. So I get it. I get it. Hi, Okedo. Bye, Okedo. Hey, go. Kaizen Fess. Fearless warrior, renowned hunter, expert survivalist, and respected as a leader amongst his people. He's even respected by the Jedi Order. Not many Trandoshans get invited into the Jedi Temple on Tython just to catch up with old friends. By itself, word that Kaizen is working with us will give us huge inroads with most any Trandoshan clan out there. Uh, I don't think the ex Warstalkers he's bringing with him will be that useful, though. They were crushed by on Denova. With respect, Commander, I couldn't disagree more. The Warstalkers were among the most effective and respected Merc units in the galaxy. They never lost a fight before Denova. The Warstalkers lost because the Dreadmasters compromised their command and forced some pretty big mistakes. Which reminds me, I should arrange regular psych checkups for all of them. Can't be too careful. <laughs> we got ourselves a Trandoshan hero leading some of the strongest Trandoshan forces this galaxy's ever seen. Pretty good day in my book, Commander. All right, I'll take that achievement. Thank you. I've finally done that. My word, never thought I'd do that quest. And I'll take all your awards, thank you. I've exceeded the glowing crystals. Oh, what a shame. <sighs> well, they're going to turn into credits anyway, so what the heck. We're done. We're done, guys. I mean, there's these, but you can go. You can go. And that, uh, I can get that two out of four again. It's just that now. Knights of the Eternal Throne will be this Tuesday. You can expect a lot. Oh, hello, honey. Sorry, I've got a dog here. Um, do, you want, do you want to sniff the mic? Don't know if you can hear her. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah, honey's my golden Labrador. I normally don't have her upstairs, but after things change, well, pff, screw it, right? But this Tuesday, Knights of the Eternal Throne will be here and you can expect quite a few episodes this week because I uh, I got Wednesday and Thursday off work so I can record a bunch and yeah it'll be it'll be a good week a lot of videos to come again I don't know what kind of Tokus costume will be just yet I need to make that up you'll see that in episode one of the Kotet story um, but for now We'll leave it here. You can expect an epilogue. I did like a prologue where it just did like a little funny story thing. You can expect an epilogue as well. Um, possibly Monday. And then the prologue to Knights of the Eternal Throne. If I can come up with something. I don't know. I'll have to come up with something. So thank you very much for watching this massive journey of Knights of the Fallen Empire. And I shall see you in Knights of the Eternal Throne. Any farewell. My voice is going to you.